Welcome to the 2015-2016 CASPA application cycle. My name is Danielle De Silvestro, and I am the Director of Applicant and Student Services at the Physician Assistant Education Association. In this presentation, I will introduce you to CASPA 3.0, our brand new application that will launch on April 22nd. I will cover the new application layout, the CASPA IDs, the reapplication process, application fees, application deadlines and processes, and the specific application sections. Because of the transfer to the new application platform, applicants are required to create a new account. There is no option to reapply in this cycle. A new CASPA ID number will be assigned and that number will stay with an applicant throughout the life of their application, including in subsequent cycles, which will allow data and information on the application to carry over into new cycles, making the reapplication process more efficient. Application fees in this cycle will be $175 for the first designation and $50 for each additional designation selected. Fee waivers are available in the amount of $175, and applicants must follow the instructions to apply for a fee waiver before submitting their application. There are nine application deadlines throughout the application cycle. Programs will select one deadline from the following options listed here. In addition, programs will select one of three requirement options by their posted deadline. Some programs may request that your application only be submitted by their posted deadline. Other programs may require your application to be complete. That means your application must be submitted, all transcripts, payment, and two of the three evaluations must be received by CASPA by their posted deadline. And finally, some programs may require your application to be verified. This means that your application and all GPA calculations must be completed by their posted deadline. In addition to the three options here, some programs may require additional items to be completed or received by their deadline such as supplemental applications, official test scores, and a third evaluation. In order for your application to be verified, these things are not required by CASPA, but may be required by your program, so it is important that you know each program's deadline and requirement so that your application is eligible to be reviewed by a program. The application process is clearly outlined in the instructions and FAQ section. It is important and necessary that you read this section before you start an application. Most of your questions will be answered in this section and save you time by helping you complete your application with, with no errors. Errors may cause delays in verification of your application. The instruction and FAQ section is linked below. Please note that these will be edited until the launch of the cycle on April 22nd. To begin the new application, you must first create a new account. Once you do this, you will be prompted to select a program before being allowed to view the application sections. Once you select that program, you may remove this and any other programs at any point before you submit your application. You may add programs at any time throughout the cycle. However, once you submit, programs cannot be removed. Here you see a screenshot of the program selection page. There are a total of 196 participating CASPA programs in the 2015-2016 cycle. The program selections tab gives you a snapshot of all of your selected programs, along with a view of your progress. Here you may pay for individual program applications or all of your applications. The application is separated into four sections, personal information, academic history, 
supporting information, and program materials. I will address each of these sections separately. The application dashboard will help you navigate the different sections of the new application, as well as access your profile, instructions and FAQs, program selections, notifications, and monitor your progress of certain sections. The personal information section will collect biographic, contact, citizenship, race and ethnicity, other, and family information data. Here is a snapshot of the personal information section tabs. A complete list of questions in this section is included with this presentation. The academic history section will collect high school, colleges and universities, transcripts, and standardized test data. Here is a snapshot of the Academic History section tabs. A complete list of questions in this section is included with this presentation. Here you see a sample of what data will be collected as you enter each of your colleges and universities. Important notes to make here. You may enter multiple degrees for any college or university that you list in this section. You may also enter information for in-progress or incomplete degrees in this section. On this slide, you see an example of the information you will enter in the transcript entry section. This data should come directly from your official transcripts. It is best to have a copy of these transcripts in front of you to help you complete this section accurately. An important note to make here, the CAS grade seen here in the far right column is automatically calculated and that grade is used to calculate your GPAs during the verification process. The supporting information section will collect evaluations, experiences, achievements, and certifications, your essay, and will require you to sign off on the release statements. Important notes to make here. CASPA only collects three evaluations and the author must upload them directly to the application. The essay is, please explain why you are interested in being a physician assistant and will allow you 5,000 characters. Here you see a snapshot of the supporting information section tabs. A complete list of questions in this section is included with this presentation. The program materials section will collect any custom options that an individual program may choose to request from applicants. This may include custom questions, documents, and prerequisites. On this slide is a snapshot of the program materials section homepage. A list of all your selected programs will appear here. To complete the program specific requirements, you will click on each program and their custom options will appear on their branding page. Here is a snapshot of the custom questions a program may request or require. Please note this is for sample only. If any question in this section is required, it must be completed before you can submit your application to that specific program. On this slide is a snapshot of the documents a program may request or require. If any document in this section is required, you must upload it before you can submit your application to that specific program. Here is a snapshot of the prerequisites section. This is where you will see a list of the program's prerequisite coursework requirements. This slide shows you where you will select the prerequisite courses that correspond to a program's listed requirements. The toggle switch shown on the top left will allow you to choose the listed prerequisite courses. Based on that prerequisite category, the relevant listed transcript courses will pop up. That's seen here on the bottom of the page. You will then select the most relevant course or courses that matches the description of the listed prerequisite. 
If a program turns this section on, it is required to be completed before you can submit your application to that specific program. A couple of important notes to make here. You may select in progress coursework um, in this section to match to the prerequisite requirement. Multiple courses may also be selected to fulfill a prerequisite requirement. And an I don't have a course to match this prerequisite option is available in the case that you don't have a matching course. It is important to note that this section is not verified by CASPA and should be used to help you determine whether or not you have all of the required courses to apply to any one program. For example, if a program requires a biochemistry course and you are not able to list a biochem course per your transcripts, you may want to consider another program to apply to. Even if you match all of your courses to the listed prerequisites, programs still make the final determination on whether or not they will accept them. This section does not guarantee that your courses will be accepted by any program. For any questions, please use the information included on this slide. Note that the application cycle does not open until April 22nd and you will not be able to create an account until then. It is important and highly recommended that you read through the instructions and FAQ section before you begin your application. Thank you for viewing this recording and best of luck during the 2015-2016 CASPA application cycle.